Borky's Brian Haydad. Here's your stat of the day. Yeah, yeah, you, you said you had an arcane statistic. Here. For on. each SEC football team, here is the year of their most recent win over a team that was ranked in the top 10. Okay. Alabama was last, last year. year. The last game of the season. Arkansas or, no. was last year. And remember, ranked at the time, so I believe Texas would have been that answer, or maybe oh, Texas my. A&M. Okay, A and M. One, one of those two. Hope it's not Texas. Auburn actually had one of those last year. They beat Ole Miss. They beat Ole Miss. Yeah. Georgia, obviously, last was season. last year. Yeah. Kentucky was last year. I believe. Who they beat? Florida. I think it would have been Florida. God, the early season polls are just trash. They I love are. them, but they are trash. They they really are bad, and they, they change dramatically. Here, Kentucky's, just for the spirit of transparency, would have been the Florida game. Gosh. Florida was ranked 10 All at right. the time of Kentucky's 16-10 to 10 win, and the game-stealing touchdown was like an interception return, right? Wasn't that? That sounds right, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Anyway, so Kentucky's was last year. Texas A&M's was last year. Mm-hmm. Alabama. Florida was 2020. Okay. Old Miss was 2020. Mississippi State was 2020. 2020. South Carolina was 2019. Who did Old Miss beat in 2020? As the I top believe 10? it would have been Indiana. Oh God, were they in the top I 10? Think, I think that that answer is Indiana. Oh, I got to know think. that now. Go ahead, though. That's the Outback Bowl, right? Yeah. South Carolina was 2019. Missouri was 2013. Vanderbilt was. What was Missouri 2013? South Carolina. South Carolina. Vanderbilt was 2007. So that was in order of their most recent. Did you notice that I was missing somebody? Is there a team that, off the top of your head, I haven't named yet? Did you not say Tennessee? Tennessee's last win over a, at the time, ranked top 10 team is 2006 was it Alabama? I assume so. Without looking, I can I mean, pull still, it up right now. That's still Mike Shula, Alabama. 2006. Tennessee has the longest drought of a win over a top 10 team in the SEC. A longer drought than even Vanderbilt and Missouri. 2006. If they don't do it this year, that will be 16 years since they've beaten a top 10 team. I'm trying to think who they play. I mean, they're not beating Alabama or Georgia. They don't have A&M. They need Kentucky to be really good, I guess. That win was in Athens oh. on October 7th, 2006. Georgia was number 10. They won 51-33 on October 7th, 2007. That is Tennessee, the great Blue blood Tennessee football program's last win over a top 10 team. Eek. Yeah, that Alabama team wasn't good, so there it is. That was midseason, October 7th. They would have played. I mean, I, I'm going to make an assumption here. LSU was in the top 10. Arkansas won the West that year. They would have been in the top 10 when they played Tennessee and they lost. Gosh, and I, I don't know if Penn State was ranked or not. Penn State was not. Arkansas was number 11 at the time of Tennessee's 31-14 loss. Mm. LSU had to be in the top 10. LSU was number 13 at the time. Wow. On November 4th mm. of that year. Okay, well, if you say so. They went to Memphis that year. That would never happen again. <laughs> they would never, ever do that again. They beat no, uh, really Cal, good. who was number nine. Would that have been an Aaron Rodgers Cal team? Two thousand six? No, he's gone by then. That Cal team. We talked about that Cal team the other we day. We did. That's right. And I got to look them up again. Their, their quarterback was just like a nobody. They just happened to have been good at that time. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah. They they went ten and three. That Cal team, and uh, finished second in the Pac twelve, or tied for first actually. Who was the quarterback? Let's see if I can find him. Well, Marshawn Lynch is on this team. Oh, well, that explains that. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. And Justin Forsett. They had two NFL running backs yeah. on that team. And, Desha- and Deshaun Jackson. Okay. That's a good team. Chase says winner Philip Fulmer. No doubt. I mean, 
as, that, a, as a college coach. Yes. Th- that's why well, I push back so much on people when I can anyway. I'm not provided that opportunity because – most of you guys listening to this agree with this sentiment. But when people are like, oh, well, Tennessee's, they're, they're a blue blood program, and they'll say things like, you can't win at Ole Miss or you can't win at Mississippi State, you can win at Tennessee, then why don't they? That's the follow up question that nobody can answer. If Tennessee is a better program than the ones we have here, why doesn't anybody win at Tennessee? 2007, Tennessee goes 10 and 4 and loses to LSU. They win the, they win the East. And lose the SEC championship game to LSU. That would go on to win the national title. Since then, five and seven, seven and six, six and seven, five and seven, five and seven, five and seven, seven and six, nine and four. Good job, Butch. Nine and four. Butch had him going the right direction. Four and eight, five and seven, eight and five, three and seven, seven and six. That's Tennessee. Tennessee. Used to be the most dominant program in, in the SEC. Not not the SEC East, the SEC. And uh, an allegedly significantly better program than the ones that we have here. But they are back. They're, oh, they're, they're back. They'll be, they'll be good this year. I think they'll be good, but they're not winning titles good. No, they're not there yet. They, they got they got a ways to go to get there. It just always cracks me up. And you're going to get it, I promise you guys, you're going to get it with the Nebraska job. There are people in our business that are so freaking caught up in what was the landscape – in 1997 that they can't see that the landscape has changed and if you have sec on your chest and you're not vanderbilt you have a leg up i mean vanderbilt i would say missouri also but kentucky's a top 30 job in college football now yeah and i think that's easily they are that was a big debate earlier this this offseason people were like yes historically tennessee is a better program than kentucky but right now Kentucky's a better program than Tennessee. Yes. Yeah. Don't really care about the head-to-head either. Like, I, I know Tennessee beat them last year and, and has been able to win games, but I don't care. Kentucky has won, in the last four years, has won 10 games twice. Since 2007, Tennessee has not won 10 games. That's as simple as I can put it right there. I mean, the playoff era started in 14. They haven't been to an access bowl yet. No. Gosh, no. Haven't been to one. Haven't been close to one. Was last year their closest? I mean, they Maybe weren't. That, like but. that 15 year, they got off to a good. Remember, they beat Georgia, yeah, and they beat Florida, and then they lost that game to Texas A and M. Where if they had, I think, if I remember correctly, A and M was number four in the, the first playoff poll that year, and they came to Starkville and lost. But if Tennessee had beaten them, I think Tennessee would have been in the playoff poll. So that's about as close as they got. So that's 16, 2016. Uh, you may be thinking of a different one because 2016 is. Uh... That night they lost to Oklahoma, and Baker Mayfield planted the Oklahoma no, that's, that, flag on the that's field. 15. That's, that's 15. Oh, I, I mistyped. That is yeah. 15. Yeah, 16, they started out 5-0. and Then they lost three straight to A&M, of course to Alabama, and to a bad South Carolina team. Yikes. And then they lost to Vanderbilt at the end of the year. I remember that Vandy game because it won me a pick em. Is that the – that's not the Vanderbilt game with the, the guys dancing and stuff, right? That's, yes, that is that, it. That's that game? That is the game that we love it so much. Where you got Derek Mason. I was built for this job. 38,000 people there that night. Yeah. In Vanderbilt Stadium, most of which wearing orange. Well, they went home unhappy, and they had to listen to that frat house blaring Rocky Top at them as they drove past. Long story short, when somebody tells you that Tennessee is a blue blood elite level program, just ask them, then why don't they win? There's your stat of the day presented by you if you want it to be. Email me, Borky at supertalk.fm. <laughs>